Whew, this one has me somewhat stumped. This one definitely has me stumped. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. What are the options here? Let's think about this in depth. Um, Black is threatening H2. So let's see. F4, King takes F4 just lo looks losing. The, my instinct says that it's probably G5. Because if takes, you go H6, H2, H7, H8, Queen takes, and then you have Bishop C3, and you're winning the game. So my first instinct is that the move is G5, and then H2 you take. And then if king f6, you have bishop c3, and you're probably winning. Oh, there's a trick. Wait, okay, wait. So g5, let's say takes h6, king f6, bishop c3, king g6, bishop e5 is winning. Because you stop the pawn. So this, this has to be the first move. So g5, h2 looks right. g takes h6 looks right. h1, queen, h7 looks right. However, black can then play queen h5. You make a queen and he goes king f4 and if you take it stalemate so you have to go c5 and then he takes the queen and you're losing so that's wrong okay um okay so so just to run that line through so you guys can see at the end the line that i'm talking about is this this takes make a queen black if black takes the queen you have check here and here and it's uh it's winning but after um but after after you make the queen black can go king f4 checking your king and now when you take the queen it's actually stalemate so that's that's how the line goes um so let's go back to the start again when you're doing puzzles you never have um uh well, let's leave the bar on the bar is on actually let's leave the bar here as well um you never actually you try to solve the whole puzzle first so g5 h2 g6 is also a move h1 g7 but then queen g2 and you just resign so let's see so g5 so h7 queen takes h5 okay so wait so g5 Bar says equal bar is wrong. Um, so g5, h2. Maybe it's bishop c3 check. King f4 and then takes and then h2. Wait, I think I got it. I think it's this, 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 this. Check first. King f4, h7. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work. Wait, no, that doesn't work. No, wait, that doesn't work. Wait a second. Okay, this is tricky. Uh, so g5 h2 those are the first two moves um bishop c3 king e6 this is very tricky um hmm very very tricky let's see okay what are the moves here the time is how long it's taking me to solve solve the study that's what it is so we, we humans do studies to computers. They're still sometimes more stupid than us. Uh, sometimes they don't have enough depth to spot it. That, that's that's the thing. Sometimes they don't have enough depth. I mean, I mean, white is winning here. It's a study, so white is winning by force. It's just a matter of the computer not seeing deep enough. Um, but let me let me think for a second. Okay, f4 can't be right. F4, g5, g6, g7. Um, okay, g5 has to be the right first move. G5, h2. Bishop c3 check doesn't work, and I'll show you guys why. So if you, if you play it like this and you make a check problem is now i take and it's check and i actually capture the pawn so you block and i take the pawn and i'm just winning with the queen so it's very it's very very tricky yeah this is very tricky you can't make the check first that's the problem you can't you can't throw in the check because then it's a check on your king that's why it's complicated um so yeah this is tricky this is a very tricky puzzle it's a good way to start the stream too because it wakes me up in, in preparation for our uh for our um upcoming uh tilted tuesday i mean g5 has to be right c5 is also a move as someone just pointed out but c5 h2 c6 i think after king d6 king b6 queen c7 king d7 king b7 black takes with check and you lose the game so it's not a c pawn push it has to be um it has to be let's think about this what other options are there huh very tricky yeah very tricky don't capture the h pawn also an idea but not simple yeah there are there are a lot of options basically i don't think it's a pawn push i don't think it's a bishop check because he just goes king f4 and you just resign so i'm pretty confident it's not a bishop or a pawn move here but it's not a bishop or a pawn move it's not this pawn move obviously f4 he just takes um and you resign again so it has to be g5 
So it has to be G5 and then H2. I still don't see it though. I'm trying I'm trying to work this out. Queen King of Four. That's just losing. Okay, very tricky. Um I didn't explore king moves. Yeah, there are king moves, but king moves don't do anything because just h2h H when you resign again anyway. Um so it has to be a pawn push, it has to be g5h2. This much I know, but beyond this. Beyond this, I'm actually kind of confused. Does draw offer work? Yes. Um, I'm trying to look at candidate moves. When you do puzzles, it's about pure pure calculation. At depth 30, it's plus 5.1. 5 yeah, exactly. Um, if you go g5h2, g6, queen g7, black just goes queen g2, and you lose the pawn. So it's not it's, it's not that. Um I'm sure that G5 is the first one, but again, the, the one thing that I would stress that people are trying to be serious chess players and they're, they're trying to do studies um, or tactics stu or studies or whatever in a professional way, you do not um, you do not play the move on the board because even though I know that G5 is the right first move, you calculate it all the way to the end. It's very important to do that rather than just trying to guess the first move because in an actual game, if you just play a random move and then you play the move, you, you, you don't know what's happening. It doesn't mean there's a guaranteed solution the way that there is in a puzzle. So it's very important keep that in mind if you're trying to be serious about chess um so let's see um yeah I'm, I'm trying to figure this out what happens after f4 he just takes I'm trying to although I just there was a thought that just occurred, occurred to me which is that maybe there's some way you can sack the pawn maybe there's a way you can sack the pawn so it's not a stalemate um but it's not um still not trivial still very difficult it's 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 just for fun yeah but if, you, if you're trying to be serious though you don't want to do that that's exactly the point because I'll, I'll, this is what i'm saying it's like for example I'll, I'll give you an example let's just say i play g5 in a game they play h2 and i don't know that this is in a, in a game it's just you're making moves you don't know if it's a study or what's going on and then you're like uh-oh what am i doing after after this move gets played so that's why i'm trying to work out the whole solution first rather than trying to um rather than just saying like i know it's g5 is the first so the way that i would do in puzzle rush for example um yeah, you can go g5 and under promote, but black goes king d6, and I didn't see a win there. Like, you have this one uh, with takes here, takes, and you can actually, you can do, um, you can make a rook, but after queen f3, there's no, there's no way to win. So that's why, uh, that's, that's why I didn't just look at it. Um, Blitzstreams even goes more far and says to not use arrows when you do chess studies. Um, I think using arrows is completely fine, um, but it's, it's, it is important if you're doing it in a serious way that you don't, you try to solve the whole puzzle first. On uh, three minute puzzle rush, you don't do that. You just basically, I would play G5 and then I assume that I can figure it out move by move because I know it's a puzzle. Um, so that's, this is really the question. What can the move be? Um, I'm trying to figure this out. It's very difficult. Um, it's a very very hard puzzle very very hard puzzle huh huh this is very difficult Whew. okay let's think about this um what are the options hmm Still don't see it. I'm trying to see if there's a mate pattern too. If there's some kind of weird mate pattern, but there there is no mate pattern. Um Does it work if you get both F pawns? You can't get both F pawns. That's the whole point. Black will ignore it. Um will you you will kill your brain before TTM and Pro Chess League even? Maybe, but that's just how it goes, you guys. So let's let's see. Um What are the moves here? I mean, G5 seems like the right move. Um, yeah, G5 seems like the right move. But after King F4, King F4, you have no good move. You just have to make the stalemate and make the draw. I'm trying to figure this out. So it takes H7. Huh. 
Shark King F5. Queen takes H5. Hmm. Very tricky. Oof. Trying to figure this out. Um, I'm having trouble figuring this one out, you guys. Sorry. What about saying you're F pawn? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, this this would not be easy for Magnus. It's, it's a difficult puzzle. Um, because there's one little trick. There's always some wrinkle in, 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 in one of these. These are studies, not puzzles, you guys. So th this is much different than Puzzle Rush. It's not the same thing whatsoever. I thank you to Ziggy Cup for the 13. Thank you to Obey Dragon for the 13. Um, What could it be, though? If you promote to a Queen King F4, that's just a stalemate, isn't it? Or am I crazy? That's a stalemate. Um... I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that Magnus could solve, but it's not something that anybody would solve very, very quickly. Um, so I'm trying to figure this out. The eight. I honestly don't know. Yeah, Stockfish can solve it easily, obviously. That's, 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 that's correct. Um, yeah, I, I'm looking at under promotions. Like, I think promoting to a rook is correct, but after queen takes f3, I can't find the move. That's the problem. Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. No, that doesn't work. Never mind. I'm stupid. No, I thought I could under promote to a rook and go king c5 and win, but it doesn't work. You can just go back. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Whew, this one has me somewhat stumped. This one definitely has me stumped. I I I, I don't I don't I don't know I don't know what it is. Um, because my my instinct is that, that it's uh that it's g5. But after takes an h7, queen takes h5. Um, if I make a queen, he, queen king f4, and there's nothing. If I make a rook, queen f3. I mean that's probably winning, but I don't know I don't I don't know if it's um. I mean, technically, there's probably some way you're winning. Um, yeah, you make a queen on the bishop c3, yes, except for the fact that that's not winning. Um, uh, I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay, I'm, I'm going to guess that it's... Uh, rook, queen takes f3. Huh. Doesn't Title Tuesday collide with PCL? I was told that the uh, the pro chess league will be after Title Tuesday. That's what I was told. Oh, Benjamin is here, by the way. Benjamin is here as well. So Benjamin can can tell me if it's right or wrong. I have more viewers than Ninja. Yeah, I might have more viewers than Ninja, but hey, he has 25 more, 25 million more reasons to smile than I do. So um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure Ninja's not not worried at all. Thank you to XEF4 for the tier one. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Bishop D2 and then check with the pawn. Yeah, except you lose the game, you guys. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure this out because this is very tricky. I mean, it, uh, the instinct is that it has to be G5, H2. The, it feels like it takes queen, but the problem is after after H7, queen H5, if you make a rook, queen F3, I mean, maybe there's some technical way you're winning. But I don't know. I don't know, like king B6 or something. But still, that's, that's a long, that's a long drawn out end game. I mean... I'm really unsure. I, I I don't see I don't see a pure win, so I'm gonna assume that it's uh that you make a rook. Box said he solved it. Yeah, okay. Um I, I didn't see Benjamin write that in chat. But I mean the thing is you you can make a rook and after queen f3, maybe you're just winning here in this end game. If that's the solution, I'll be a little bit annoyed. Um because I don't actually see any other solution. I don't see any other solution. 
yeah i'm gonna assume i'm gonna assume that you make you make a rook that's that's my assumption is that you make you make a rook and after queen f3 you, you can just play like king c5 or you can play like rook rook b8 or something you can just win an end game which yeah my instinct is actually this 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 takes here here queen takes h5 you make a rook queen takes f3 and then you play like king a4 king b3 and you're just winning in an end game I mean that seems kind of dank um yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna trust my assumption here I I, I think that you make I, I I'm probably wrong here with my guess but I'm pretty sure that it, that I I'm pretty sure that you make a rook on HA that's that's my guess I I, I I'm probably wrong here so I, I but I just want to see this will be the first time I've been wrong on a, a purely wrong on a study I think let's see okay let's turn off the lines wait so how's it goes to g5 h2 takes queen right h7 bar is still good queen takes h5 right wait not not h8 sorry h8 equals rook okay takes let's see okay rook d8 rook d8 is winning here oh so this is winning oh oh but there's there's another line with king d4 here ah uh, yeah yeah and then you go king a4 king b3 bishop c3 but queen f3 and you play rook h4 and you win an end game so actually I, I am right I am right but it's just it's not conclusive to where it's like a forced win um so let's go through the puzzle from the start then okay so I was actually right um so g5 is correct a lot of people were like go c5 let's start with this one c6 queen c7 sorry not sorry wrong thing c6 king d6 is actually not winning um because now if you go like king b6 I make a queen c7 king b7 king b7 queen f3 king to b8 and then queen c6 is winning I'll explain the whole study you guys don't worry and, the, and you just lose the pawn and you get mated so it's not c5 um a lot of people were, were saying well you know you can play g5 or bishop c3 if you go bishop c3 right away I can just go king e6 g5 h2 takes queen h7 queen h5 check and you lose the pawn same thing in the other order too by the way if g5 h2 takes here if you make a check it's the same thing h7 you actually you just lose you, you just lose the game so 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 g5 is correct here here h7 takes um and so now change the depth uh I can change the depth sure no no it, it is uh no it is unlimited you guys so um so so you're wondering why can't why can't white make the queen it's it's a check it's classic right triangle it's also supposed to be a bow test gambit even though it's not and if black takes the queen you go bishop c3 check and you win the game right on the spot so it's very simple right except the problem is black can go king f4 checking your king on b5 while attacking your queen on h8 that's the whole whole wrinkle in the study is that now like if I push the pawn I hang the queen and if I take the queen as you guys see it's stalemate the black king cannot go anywhere here the queen covers all these squares and that, that's uh it's just a draw so that's why in this position you cannot promote to a queen that's why you have to under promote it to a rook here because now black is like king f4 you just take the queen and the king can take the pawn but black can also go king d4 here which I guess theoretically I should have worked out but after king d4 you can just go king a4 king b3 and if black takes king b3 with bishop c3 if black moves the king you check collect the queen and if black moves the queen anywhere you go bishop c3 and it's checkmate king king is protecting all the pawns king protects the bishop and the, the black king has no squares here it's just checkmate so um so yeah this is just, this is this is actually the puzzle and it's winning but very very difficult puzzle um to solve oh omg is so many moves ahead so hard well that's why chess is a great game it, it expands your mind and you start seeing more possibilities but it is a very good puzzle very very good puzzle um it's just the only thing I don't like is that it's not a forced solution like it's not a forced solution but yeah could this work f4 no f4 never works you guys so I just take the pawn and if you go g5 I don't take your pawn I just push my pawn and I just create a queen and I ignore your threat I mean that's the main problem with the puzzle is that you're it's two moves for black to make a queen no matter what pawn you push I just make a queen I think in McClinster for the uh seven months but that was a good puzzle yeah that's a good puzzle good starter good starter